In February 2022, Idaho Air National Guard's 124th Fighter Wing conducted a wing focus exercise at Gowan Field, Boise, Idaho. The wing focus exercise, evaluated by an inspection team from the 124th Fighter Wing, was designed to test the performance of airmen in a simulated forward operating base. The Fighter Wing operates the Fairchild Republic A-10 Thunderbolt II aircraft, commonly referred to as the Warthog or Hog. Making a subtle and somewhat understated arrival as the A-10 be painted in a P-47 Thunderbolt livery. The aircraft lets its paint scheme tell its historic story. The National Guard paint facility in Sioux City, Iowa, revealed the heritage livery in 2021. The 124 fighter wing of the Air National Guard conceived this new livery for their A-10 in celebration of the unit's 75th anniversary and the lineage to the World War era 405th fighter group which flew Republic P-47 Thunderbolts. The 405th Fighter Group was United States Army Air Force's fighter bomber unit during World War II. They flew the P-47 Thunderbolts in the European Theatre of Operations. After setting up camp in 1944 and training over England, the group began combat operations over France. During this period, their primary task was ground attack operations ahead of the coming Operation Overlord, the invasion of Normandy. The group disrupted German positions and transportation infrastructure. Train locomotives were a favourite target. The group's most notable action was the destruction of an entire German armoured division in France on the 29th of July 1944. After immobilising leading and trailing elements of the three mile long column, the rest of the tanks and trucks were systematically destroyed with multiple sorties. The 405th also accepted the surrender of the highly decorated Luftwaffe ace Hans Rudel and his officers at the end of the war. In 1945 the 405th Fighter Squadron remained with the occupation forces in Germany and Austria until later in the year it returned to the United States and was inactivated. The wartime 405th Fighter Squadron was reactivated and redesignated as the 190th Fighter Squadron and was allocated to the Idaho Air National Guard at Boise on 24th of May 1946. The 190 of Fighter Squadron was bestowed with the history, honours and colours of the 405 Fighter Squadron. In 1955, the 190 of Fighter Squadron became part of the newly formed 124 Fighter Group, later becoming the 124th Fighter Wing. Back to the day's important 124 fighter wing focus exercise, the A-10 Thunderbolt IIs are receiving fuel and air crews will soon begin to conduct munitions loading. The ability to load weapons and refuel aircraft simultaneously and in a timely manner are key elements to an integrated combat turnaround.